most fights over data privacy shape up like this. Big tech on one side, privacy advocates on the other. But the privacy fight on your ballot this year? It's complicated. Two years ago, California passed the first data privacy law in the nation. Now you can ask businesses for all the information they have about you and tell them not to sell your data. But the man who pushed for that law after a dinner party conversation with a Google engineer says it's not strong enough. So he put Prop 24 on your ballot. Hi, I'm Laurel Rosenhall, political reporter with Cal Matters, and I'm going to explain Prop 24 in less than a minute. Prop 24 would change California's privacy law in several ways. It would let you tell businesses to limit the use of sensitive data, such as your exact location and health info, stop businesses from holding onto your data for longer than necessary, triple the fine on companies that violate children's privacy rights, and create a new state agency to enforce the privacy law. Privacy advocates who supported the law two years ago are split over this measure. On one side, Alistair McTaggart, the Bay Area real estate developer who pushed for the first privacy law, has spent more than $4 million on Prop 24. On the other side, several privacy advocates say Prop 24 would actually hurt consumers by delaying a rule in the existing law and by allowing tech companies to grab your data when you leave the state. The tech industry? It could just sit this one out and let privacy advocates fight among themselves. So vote yes if you want to change California's privacy law, and vote no if you don't. Learn more about this proposition and others at calmatters.org. For Cal Matters, I'm Laurel Rosenhall.